So here we have the Transit Custom Connect nine-seater minibus on a 20 plate. I'm going to start off by showing you around the outside of it and then we'll hop in and run through some controls on the inside. But from the outside, you can see it's got alloy wheels, sliding side doors uh, as well. Let me show you inside the back so that you can see the luggage space and then we'll work our way around the rest of it from there. So as we approach the back of it, you can see we have reversing sensors. Uh, when you consider there's nine seats currently in place there, uh, you still get a huge amount of luggage space as well. Okay, so we're just gonna work our way back around to the front of the vehicle. Uh, and then we'll hop in and run through some controls but it's well worth seeing uh, inside so that you can see how much space there is so there are six seats here as you can see and then three in the front and you have plenty of space in this rear section just briefly before we climb in i think it's well worth seeing the interior from this exterior point of view there's plenty to run through on the dashboard so let's hop in and we'll do that now Side the vehicle we're going to start with the dials on the left hand side we have the rev counter and on the right hand side the speedometer uh, in the middle you can see the total miles for this car which are 10,023 uh, and, and a digital readout for the speedometer in that section as well you can change that information for various bits of trip computer info by using buttons on the steering wheel backing out to the steering wheel the buttons that I was using just a moment ago are here beneath that we have stereo and phone controls. The stereo controls continue over here, along with cruise control and speed limiter. Over in the center is where you'll pair your phone before you can use the phone control. So connect to phone and then add phone. Search for your vehicle on your device and select it once it is found. And then just follow those instructions on screen after that. And when it comes to music in this car, uh, you will see that we've got AM, FM and DAB radio. We have Bluetooth audio as well. And this car's got a USB input. If you plug a device into that, it will appear up here as an extra option for you. And then you can always get back to your home screen uh, by pressing the button up in that top left-hand corner. Working our way down, we have the volume for the uh, stereo. We then have air conditioning. So you can adjust the fan speed, the temperature, where you'd like the air to be diverted. Air conditioning is on at the moment, so off, back on again. You can recirculate the air that's in the vehicle by hitting that button. That's a great way of heating it up or cooling it down quickly depending on the temperature that you've set. This car's also got heated driver and passenger seats, both with three different heat settings each, and a heated front screen as well as the heated rear screen. We have a six-speed manual gearbox, a 12-volt charging socket next to the USB input that I mentioned a moment ago, and beneath that, we have a cup holder. All that leaves me to say is thank you for taking the time to watch this video. If you'd like to come see this vehicle for yourself and have a test drive, please feel free to call any of our MJA sites. We'd love to hear from you soon.